Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here, and today I'm going to be starting my brand new series for Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. And I'm actually really excited to play this because they have changed the game, if you guys don't know, where they have, like, replaced certain enemies, and the game's just slightly different. I don't know how different it's really going to be, but we will see. Haven't played it yet, so I'm excited to actually get on it and try it. I have heard, though, that people have been saying that the game is definitely harder because I guess maybe the enemies that they put in certain areas are pretty freaking ridiculous or maybe there's just too many enemies on the screen or something like that. I'm not sure. We will see. Now, when it comes to, like, the story and the actual game overall, though, I think it's pretty much the same game, but I'm thinking that I'm going to make this look kind of like a let's play, so... Pretty much, we're going to actually watch the cutscenes and listen to the dialogue. It's been a long, long, long time since I've actually listened to any of the dialogue. So it should be kind of interesting to go back and kind of listen to it again. But if you guys don't want me to do that, let's say in the next episode or the episode after that, just go ahead and leave a comment and let me know. Like, you know, hey, we've seen it. We know it. The game's been out for a while. Everybody knows the story for the most part. So just skip all that shit. If you guys want that, I will do it. But for the first episode, I'm going to actually let like the cutscene play out. In fact, what's kind of funny, the opening cutscene, I believe I've only ever watched this cutscene one time. One time, and that's it. Okay? And that was when I started my original Let's Play for this game. So it will be interesting to watch that again because honestly, I have not seen that in like over a year. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get this started. And yeah, hopefully the game will kick a lot of fucking ass. Perhaps you've seen it, maybe in a dream, a murky, forgotten land. Souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning, and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why.
of flame. Your wings will burn in anguish. Time after time. Is your fate the fate of the cursed? Well, alrighty. To be quite honest, I really didn't remember any of that. I do remember the old lady, but. Like, the woman with the melting face? That was kind of interesting. I don't think it's new. I think it's just been so long that I've watched that cutscene that I just don't remember. But in a way, I was kind of hoping, like, oh, man, wouldn't it be cool if they added some new shit in the cutscene? I kind of doubt it, though. I think that the game, for the most part, is going to be the same, just with different enemies. And kind of nicer graphics. Because so far, the graphics actually do look pretty good. It's not like, oh my god, this is beta graphics or anything like that. But with the 1080p and the 60 frames, I'm going to imagine that the graphics are going to be really nice. Unfortunately, because of my recording program, you guys will not be able to look on YouTube at the 60 frames because I can only record in 30 frames. And YouTube, with most browsers, I believe is only in 30 frames no matter what. And I think with like Chrome, you can switch it to 60 frames. But, like I said, I can't even record in 60 frames, so I don't know. Maybe sometime in the future I'll buy a next-gen capture program and be able to record games in 60 frames so that everyone who uses, like, programs or browsers like um, Google Chrome can actually watch some of my videos in 60 frames, which would be great. All right, now I will be editing out all my, like, character customization and creation because I'm trying to save some time... I didn't realize how long that damn cutscene was, and with this next little, like, dialogue cutscene thing, this video is probably not going to be really anything interesting. Just me going to Majula, and I don't know. We'll have to see, okay? Alright, but let's do this! <laughs> what seems to be the ruckus? Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes, you'll become one of them. Hollows prey upon men, feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> <laughs> your reward for sharing. It's a human effigy. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Think back deep into your past. Yes. It's an effigy of you. All people come here for the same reason. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> 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 Go through the door. 
kingdom, huh? And trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. <laughs> Alrighty! Fucking crazy old bitches. Anyway, man, this game's gonna be weird playing after playing Bloodborne, that's for sure. Alright, let's put some uh, armor on. I don't want to be a naked king. I went with the whole king jumping build just because it's easy. And I wanted to play as a guy. It's been a long time since I've played as a guy. What? The fuck? Oh. Oh, no. How do I... God damn it, how do I fucking pull up the... Menu. The op... That's so stupid! Are you serious? Hold up. Oh my god! Okay, this is a big problem for me, alright? It really is. Now, it's not like a make or break thing. I need to look at the options and see if I can change this. But this is some fucking bullshit! Hold up, let me put some armor on real quick. Oh, god damn it. But yeah, guess what guys? Like, if you haven't played this yet, at least on the PS4, they changed it. Options is no longer how you pull up your menu. Instead, what they've done is that that is how you do your, like, emotes and your gestures and that kind of stuff. The way that you pull up your goddamn options is a touchpad. See, to me that's dumb, because in Bloodborne, you know, another FromSoft game that's pretty much just like Dark Souls, you d it's the opposite. So that's so confusing, like, you know, you play Bloodborne for a while, you're like, you know, hey, I'm gonna go play some, uh, Scholar of the First Sin, and then you just confuse yourself because of that stupid fucking thing. Alright, hold up. Let me check this. Um... This is all camera. See, like, there's no co controller scheme kind of deal with these with Dark Souls, you know? I'm looking for controller scheme. If there's a way to change that, please tell me, guys. I, I really, really want to know. Because that is going to really suck if I have to deal with that the whole freaking time. Every time I want to pull up the options, I'm going to be doing this. Watch. Oh, my God. All right, let's get this item. Now, obviously, this isn't like your classic Let's Play. It will be kind of like a Let's Play. But it's not going to be a classic Let's Play because I know what I'm doing, you know? Generally, a Let's Play is someone who doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. They've never played the game. At least traditionally, oh my god, the fire looks really, really nice. But yeah, unfortunately for me, that's not going to be the case because I've already played the game a thousand times or whatever. But what will be interesting, oh, the numbers are super small. Oh my god. But with the new enemies and stuff, that's what's going to make this kind of like a let's play. I, I don't know what's up. Maybe it's just, yeah, it's got to be the 1080p or something, but the numbers look super small. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Let's go punch some shit. Hey, come here. By the way, guys, I don't know if you can't tell, I'm actually sick. Um... You know, when this game first came out, this is uh, pretty much two weeks late, unfortunately. And I wanted to get it right away and play it right away, but I was going on vacation, so I, I kind of knew that was a bad idea. So instead, I just waited until I got back. Well, like two days after I got back, I got really sick, so I'm assuming I must have caught a cold or something on the plane. And that just really sucks because um, I'm feeling a lot better now. But my nose is running real bad, my throat was really sore, and I don't know if you guys can tell from my voice that, um, yeah, I am just a little bit sick right now, so. You know, unfortunately, uh, that could be a little bit of a problem. Fuck you, asshole. Fuck you, dick. Yeah, I don't know, just, right now, this game feels really weird to me. It could be the fact I'm used to Bloodborne, but then again, it also could be the fact that this is kind of different, and it just looks different to me. I don't know. Anyway, let's go up top. This is the only thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to go talk to the bird, and then we're going to go to Majula. I don't know how far I'm going to be able to get in this episode, you know? So we might not be able to see too much. Maybe I'll go to the forest and get to the first bonfire. I think I might do that. That way we can at least see some new stuff. Although I do know, like, the very first thing I think that you'll see in this game is, um, you're going to see an ogre in the forest of the fallen giants, which will freak you the fuck out. And obviously, I don't think that I'm going to be fighting that thing because... 
you really, you can kill the ogres here, like when you first come here, but it's a bitch. And I ain't gonna be, shut up. I ain't gonna be like, oh, god damn it! <laughs> it's gonna really fucking annoy me, man. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 gotcha, birdie. Give me that. Oh, got unlucky, they're right there. Oh, god! Oh my god, guys, you tell me, if you've played this on the PS4, is this something that's just driving you nuts? Especially if you played Bloodborne and this. Like, is it, did, is, do you get used to it? Because there's got to be a way to change that. That's so bad, FromSoft. Okay, whatever. Didn't really want anything anyway. But still, man, that that's so fucking lame that they did that with the touchpad. I don't like the touchpad. I've never liked the touchpad. Like, I remember on, like, Dragon Age... Like, when I got that, that was, like, my very first PS4 game. And I don't even remember what you do in that game with the touchpad. Oh, I think you, um, that's how you do, like, the tactics and stuff. Or you get, like, the special tactical camera. And I just couldn't figure out at all, like, what button did... Same with, um, okay, that's the same deal with, uh, Bloodborne. I couldn't figure out, like, you know, how do you do the, the, you know, taunts? How do you do the emotes, the gestures? Oh, my God, it's so sunny and bright. Holy shit, it hurts my eyes! Yeah, the graphics are a lot different, <laughs> okay? The graphics are way different. That sun is ridiculous. If you want to praise the sun, you can praise the fucking sun in this game. Jesus! But yeah, the touchpad, I don't like it on the PS4. I'm sure a lot of people love it. I don't know, but I, just, I don't like it. I always forget it's there, you know? Like, it drives me nuts, man. I just want to press, like, an uh, options button to pull up, like, the menu. That's what the options buttons should always do in a game, you know, pull up the menu. They have the options button, and then unfortunately they also have the share button, which is confusing too, especially if you're coming from Xbox, because the way I view the share button is that that's like the back button, which would be the emotes, and the options buttons would be the start button, but instead it's, you know, stupid. Anyway, let's light this bad boy up. Man, this is, this is hurting my eyes a little bit, I gotta be honest. I don't know what it looks like on YouTube, but... Oh no! Born of fate. Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. Oh, whoa, that's different. Uh, that was an accident. I uh, see, I'm so used to playing the game, you know, like where you just, I just go and I talk to her real quick, skip all the dialogue. I forgot I wanted to play out the dialogue, so I kind of skipped it right there. And I was in the middle of like talking, which is very common, you know, so let me, I will talk to her again, but that is different, by the way, just saying. Because normally you have to talk to her like 80,000 times, which for like a brand new player, you know, they might not really understand that. They go and they find the lady, which she's off to the side. I always thought that was kind of bullshit. That they put her like off to the side there. And that's how you get your first potion, you know. That's how you're going to heal. It's very important if you've never played Dark Souls or whatever. Even if you're a veteran. I remember when I first played the game, I was like roaming around. I was like, you know, oh my god, how do I get healing potions? And I finally found her. And I was like, oh, there's a woman over here. And you talk to her. And she talks, and she talks, and you're like, oh, okay. Some people would be like, oh, I guess she's done talking, let me walk away now. And they don't realize you have to, like, talk to her three times to get the goddamn healing potion. So that was always really lame how they did that. But apparently in this, they've changed it so that the first time you talk to her, they she actually just gives you the healing potion. I like that, that's good. But they still should have put her, like, right here when you come in. Like, stand right by... The bonfire so that a you can find the bonfire and b you could you know get your potion right away and level up if you want to bearer of the curse seek misery for misery will lead you to greater stronger souls you will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid i don't remember that seek those whose names are unutterable the four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. Huh. Now maybe it's been just so long since I've listened to her dialogue, but I don't remember that either. In a way, it's kind of, it's kind of good, I guess, because she basically is telling you to go and get the great souls. You know? 
I remember her talking about, you know, oh, if you want to be a monarch or, you know, something about monarchs and shit. I don't remember her, like, telling you to do that. Is that a shard you found? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Just... We can skip that. Oh, I don't want to level up. Because that's the cookie-cutter dialogue that she's going to say every fucking time that you talk to her. I kind of hate that, you know? Um, not... Obviously, this is old when it comes to Dark Souls 2, but <sighs> Bloodborne does the same shit, where... Just like in Demon Souls. Demon Souls, Bloodborne, and Dark Souls 2, you have to talk to someone to level up. I always found that to be so annoying. I really have. I've always found that to be annoying. Because to me, what I think is better is just to use the damn bonfire level up. I always like Dark Souls in that regard. Because you didn't have to, like, go through loading screens. Especially with Bloodborne. Oh my god, that was so bad. It's like, oh, I need to go level up because I have all these echoes. So you go back to the dream to basically level up it takes forever with that loading screen they fixed the loading screens now but the loading screens were ridiculous when the game came out sit through this long loading screen you talk to the lady you level up then you go back you sit through another long ass loading screen it was horrific so i mean it would have been better just to make it so that you can level up with the lamp or whatever in that game anyway let's talk to this guy you're undead aren't you you have that distinct scent, the smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement, a place where life is almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. Okay, cool. I am Solden. And like you, I lost everything, and now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. Oh, by the way, I started as a deprived, if anyone's wondering. Do you know much about souls? Even I'm not certain, but... I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive... To walk this earth. That's the real curse, right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. Oh, God, cry me a river! There are four beings in this land with giant souls. And wherever you go from here, you'll sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul, and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now. Like I have. <laughs> okay, sure. Alright guys, well I really hope you have enjoyed my series. Um, now I'm joking, of course. But yeah, I don't remember that either. Like I said, it could be that it's just been a long time since I listened to the dialogue, but I really don't remember anybody talking about go out and find, you know, great souls. I, I just don't remember that in the beginning of the game. I don't know. Tell me, please. Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. You'll face invaders from other worlds at every turn. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? When you face danger, the Blue Sentinels will come to your aid. Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. Carol, let's do it. Yeah, the Pussy Covenant, let's go. <laughs> That is a wise decision. 
People are weak, but the blue sentinels watch over us in their benevolence. Let the sentinels cradle you in their embrace. Fuck the blue sentinels. I mean, honestly, I like the blue sentinels more than the Brotherhood of Blood because I have always felt the Brotherhood of Blood is a bunch of bullshit with ranking up. You know, at least with the blue sentinels, you can rank up kind of normally. God damn it! Stupid menu. I'm telling you, it's going to drive me nuts. All right, wait a minute. Ah, we got to put the potions on. So we will do that real quick. I guess I'll put the life gems on, and I'll also put the homeward boners on, yeah. Alright, let's do this. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, there is something else I want to do. I do want to level up my dexterity, I believe. One great thing about Dark Souls 2, there's a couple things that they changed from Dark Souls. And Dark Souls 2, basically, that was great changes. And for some reason, they did not put this in a Bloodborne, and it was so stupid. And one of the main things, of course, was the fact that you can't respect. Oh my god, it's so annoying, man. It's so freaking annoying. And in what it called, in uh, Bloodborne, you can't respect. So if you fuck up your build, you're screwed. I, that's so lame. And um, I love the fact that you can respect in this game. It's so much better. Look at all the blood stains, man. That is so freaking awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and equip the Morning, morning Star. So this is like, oh what? I guess I have to rank up my strength a couple times? I can't remember, I thought it was, I thought 7 was fine. I don't know, maybe it's 8? It might be 8, and I'm tripping. Let's rank that up real quick. Alright, come on. Let's do it. Hasn't been very long since I've played this game, so I don't, I don't know how I'm forgetting some of this stuff already. It's like, really? Oh god. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. There we go, yeah, so it's 8 strength and 7 dex if you want to use the morning star in the beginning. But this really only matters if you start as a deprived, because otherwise you gotta use the dagger. The dagger's not bad, it's just... Morning star's better, you know? Anyway, yeah, this should be interesting. We're going to go to the first bonfire, and that's where I'm gonna end the first episode. And I'm just really interested to see what's new and what's different. I also know that, and you can kind of tell when you start the game, that there is something different like normally when you would start the game all the DLC items were given to you right away I've heard that you're gonna find those like throughout the game now I don't know if they're gonna be like random locations where you'll find them or if you're just going to find them um, in certain parts like maybe you got to beat a certain boss and then you get like the item to do the first DLC and the second DLC and all that Another thing that it was a great change from Dark Souls to Dark Souls 2 that they went ahead and didn't do this in fucking um, Bloodborne and it actually is probably going to get me killed, I'm really afraid right now, is that in this game you jump with um, L3 and in Bloodborne you jump with B. So, oh my god, not B, circle or whatever, but it's freaking horrible, let's do it. Oh god! See, I'm afraid that I'm going to go for a watch, this will happen. I'm gonna go for a jump, look at all the blood stains, and then I'm going to roll off. Yep, yep, there's an ogre here. Anything else new though? Because I mean, if that's the only thing new here, I mean, it's whatever. Just avoid him. Get the bonfire. Fuck off. Oh, look, he's patrolling. I heard that that's a thing too. Whoa, leave me alone. But the enemies will patrol around. Die, bitch. Uh oh. Leave me alone. You wanna die, fool? No stamina. So not used to having this low amount of stamina. Bloodborne is absolutely ridiculous in terms of stamina. It's crazy. 20 stamina is really all you need, and you can, like, run for, like, three days and shit, and swing your weapon, like, 80 times. Roll. I'm not even lying. Like, with 20 stamina in that game, you can roll a good 15 to 20 times. It's just outrageous. All right, so we lit the bonfire. Um, don't rest at it. There's no point. But you do want to light it. And now we're going to make our way over here. Kill the enemies and pick up the items. That fucking always happens and it's super annoying. Goddamn Archer. I always kill his ass first if you can because otherwise he's gonna piss you off. Oh no, Skype! Oh god. I need to actually turn that sound off because, um, yeah, that's something that I totally forgot about that I turned that damn sound back on. And that's one thing about freaking Skype that <laughs> back in the day I used to have that problem where I'd be recording and. Skype messages be popping up every five seconds. So I got smart and turned the 
stupid Skype noise off, but everybody pretty much knows what that is at this point, I would imagine. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick this up. And now we can just make our way up top and make our way to the first bonfire, our second bonfire in the forest of the Fallen Giants. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Blood stains everywhere. You know, one of the best things about this, and by the way, I will be uh, making this a PvP build, which is awesome. There's no hide knight. That's different. What the hell? Oh god, there's more. Oh my god, there's a lot more enemies. Oh shit. Dude, there's a lot of freaking enemies over here. But yeah, one thing that's different. Um, wait, I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, I'm going to be doing the PvP series again with this. And uh, what's going to be awesome is that there's probably going to be a lot of people that never really played Dark Souls. So, you're going to probably be able to fight against a lot of real big scrubs, you know. If that's your cup of tea where you like to fight against scrubs, then this game's going to be so perfect for you. I'm getting annihilated by shit. Alright, man, this this is some wild crap. I want to pick up the items. I'm assuming the items should be the same, but like, this guy was never here before. And a lot of these dudes, man, they're the ones with the shields, so they take three hits. Oh god, why are you so strong? That's kind of- Oh god, dude, Jesus! I, so I said it, and I was right! God damn, there's a lot of freaking dudes! Okay, I'm gonna heal up. This is freaking ridiculous already. I'm sorry, but if you're coming to this for your very first Dark Souls, that's a problem. There, okay, that was never there. Okay, so that is different too. There's different items as well. So let's kill him. Yeah, this is already really interesting. Okay, and I'm, I'm getting a lot more. Look at that! There's a dude over there! <laughs> Holy shit! I guess I sh Oh my god, they're coming down? Or they're aggroing from a lot farther away? Are you serious? Dude, and the other guy. That is so fucking crazy. The other guy is coming up the ladder to come get me. Wow. Okay. I'm digging it. I am actually really digging this so far. Because it is a lot different. That's a new enemy over there. That guy was never there before either. Alright, come and get me, bitch. Let's go. And you throw firebombs too, you fucking dick? Jesus. That's not good. Oh god. Gravity, man. I'm scared. I'm fucking scared, man. Alright. As long as I keep telling myself the right button and shit, I should be good. All that's the same, so let's go ahead and heal up. Now I'm gonna make the jump back, so... Oh, God! Okay, good. I guess I'll go make that jump to get that item, because I am interested to see if it's the same thing. I believe it was throwing knives? Not 100% on that, but... Oh, God, there he is. So this guy came from all the way at the bottom up here to come get me. So... Maybe their aggro range has increased as well. Very interesting. Alright, let's do this jump. It's not hard, but I have a feeling I'm gonna fuck it up. Let's go. Okay, I can't embarrass myself. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've just totally failed when it comes to jumps. And then, it's kind of funny only because my name is Jumping. And I kind of suck at jumping in a lot of games, you know? Sometimes I'm pretty good at jumping, but in a lot of games I'm a total scrub. And it's just ironic, you know. Yeah, okay, these guys are going to get up over here. Yay. Broken straight sword. That's different. I mean, it's in the area, but it's not in that, like, location. Get up, bitch. I mean, at this point, even if you're a new player, you would know that all these guys are going to be getting up. Look at that. I'm not used to that either. That was kind of interesting. Oh, God. Like I said, guys, I'm kind of sick, so I, like, right now I want to cough so bad. <coughs> oh, God. Ugh. Okay, there's a guy around this corner. Oh, God. Leave me alone. Dude, I could swear I just seen something. Yeah, what the fuck is that about? Oh, man. I'm fucking scared. There's gonna be... There's a trap right there. Oh, God. Fuck off, bitch! Dude, oh, God. There's another one in this room! Jesus! Me loud! Oh, man, this is gonna be fun as hell. Oh, no! See, like, there's so many fucking enemies! My damn weapon's at risk! Okay, now I have to use the damn dagger. Hold up, put that on. And switch over to the dagger. Pick this up. That's the same. Ah, uh, there's totally gonna be a trap here. Oh, oh, no. I mean, it's kind of Oh, it's a total fucking trap! Oh, God! Red! Alright, that's new. 
Fuck you, dude! Oh, dude! Fuck! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna fucking die, guys. Hold up. Oh, God. Don't give me the corner! Oh, God! I'm in the corner! Fuck! Life! Dude! Ah! I'm dead! I'm dead as fuck, dude. Okay. I just wanna get this item, man. Thank you for the one fucking life gem. That was totally worth it. Now I'm gonna get surrounded again. Ah, you run so fast, dude. And I missed like a scrub, dude. Like, I'm, I'm just so used to the goddamn Bloodborne. Ah! I'm alone. Let's go. Urgh, die, bitch. Stop. God, you're so strong. This dagger sucks so much. Urgh. I'm out. All right, you gonna die. Gotcha. Dude, I would love it if he would drop the bastard sword. That would have been the best. That's really like the I. When it comes to like getting lucky and getting a weapon right away, that is that is pretty much one of the best things you can get really early on. You know, now that I think about it, what really sucks is that because they took the high knight out, that means you cannot get the high knight sword. That kind of sucks because that sword's really good at the start of the game. I wonder if they're going to do the same kind of de deal with uh, the fire longsword, because that's another one that's really good at the beginning of the game. God damn it, man. I'm getting freaking wrecked, dude, and I'm I am really not used to getting wrecked in the beginning of fucking the game, you know? This is like the super easy mode right here. So it's just going to get worse. Can we get the plunge? Gotcha, bitch. Oh, give me your item. God damn it. Alright, so let's go up top. Yeah, it's probably taking this episode might be a long, long episode. Only because it's taking longer. Is there a guy over there? I swear I just heard something. Yeah, something's hitting something. Is it arrows? Oh yeah, it's the archer, I guess. Fucking wild. Right, let's climb up top. Check this out. I will be making my way down there, but probably in the next episode. Oh, you're up. Okay. And it's not the same kind of enemy because the one over here was, was always sleeping with a halberd. And now he has a basket sword. Pick that up. And yeah, man. All right. So, so far, I got to say, um, I'm digging it. Like, it's not like the enemies are kind of the same for the most part. But what's interesting is the fact that they're so different, you know, like they're just a lot more enemies. That's one thing. And they're placed differently. So I am super digging that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. I really hope you have enjoyed it. In our next episode, we'll probably try to beat the... At least we'll try to beat the Last Giant and the Pursuer. So that should be awesome. I really appreciate it if you could like this episode for me. Be sure to subscribe for future Bloodborne and Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin content. And yeah, I really hope everyone has a very nice day. And peace out!